Welcome back. Today we've got a UR gear showcase for the Girl 11. We went with attack crit damage just to buff up her crit damage a little bit. It's a bit on the low side. Crit chance is really, really good. Uh, we did get all of her outfits. Haven't uh, upgraded any of them, but I may do in the future. Before we begin, just double check, make sure you are subscribed. I would greatly appreciate that. Drop a like on the video for the algorithm and let's begin. All right, first game. We are up against a glue eater opponent. Not bad, not bad. Um, geared PvP is just super scuffed right now on global just because it has the worst rule ever. Uh, it's the rule where, you know, if you tap advantage, you'll do 30% more, and if you're disadvantage, you'll do 30, uh, 40, 40 percent less such a stupid rule so boring but you know what can we do uh we already have the the Anton, so i'm not gonna bother with a shield right now we'll just attack Escanor. only 80k that's a bit weird normally she would uh, do a little bit more than that uh, but it's fine i think we can go for a dian ultimate if we want Actually, we have a really good play here. We can basically just get rid of the entire hand. The hand shield not broken. Alright, that's good. Yeah, probably... Probably rush the hand ultimate here. Uh, we will use the taunt. Hopefully, 11 can break the shield on Escanor. Then we can take off revive, I think. So yeah, that was a really good uh, sequence. Just cleared our entire hand. Uh, can we break shield, please? Yes, we can. Nope, oh, one sec. All right, what did I miss? Uh, my Dian getting stunned. Kek W. All right. Um, okay, well, that's pretty annoying. Gotha does get ultimate. I don't know if I can kill uh, Liz as well. Oh, never mind. 11 coming up clutch with a crit on Liz. Gotha, please kill Liz. Just to, you know, make life a little bit easier. The opponent has some level 2s. I would love to get rid of them. And, uh, of course... Liz survives with no visible HP. Uh, wow, even as Death Pierce. Alright, so my 11 is definitely dead. She is most certainly dead. Uh, I don't think she can survive this. Level 2 shield. I do have Lolly Merlin as my subunit because Lolly Merlin, in like with these rules, she's just incredibly powerful. 11 takes a bunch of damage, so she will die here, but nonetheless, uh, still pretty good from her. I think uh, next game we'll play it differently. We'll play her like she's sorry, yo. I don't know why I was, you know, attacking turn one. That was pretty foolish of me, not gonna lie. But I think we're good to go here. Do I, I, might, I might just make this a level three just for the Kek W and I'll kill Deanne. And then at this point, we are mono green. My opponent's got two green units as well. Uh, we're gonna win. It's just gonna take uh, a little bit longer than, uh, than usual. But yeah, pretty easy. Let's go to the next game. Next game, we do have ooh, an 11 opponent. Interesting. Uh, he's got Liz, though, and I've got Dian. Ooh, that is sweet, sweet goodness. Um, although he did get the very lucky start with 11, so that I am a bit scared. And obviously, he does have Revive in his back pocket, whereas I do not. Uh, but obviously, we'll apply the gauge removal just to stop any shenanigans. We'll rank up my 11, and uh, hopefully, Dian can tank. He drew a rank 2 for the second card, so that's the single target, oof. Oh no, but wait, uh, the rules, see what, the, the rules are so stupid, I was worried for a sec till I realised my Deanne is going to take much less damage than she normally would, like, normally this might even kill my Deanne, because the level 3 power strike is just very strong. Like, yeah, 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 we're, like, without the rules, yeah. Oh wait, oh, he's got, he's got, he's got 2, he's got 2? That's fine though, my Deanne is going to heal up a decent bit. Uh, and then we have so many AoEs, so uh, I think we will proceed to use them. The opponent's 277. Uh, this should be very, very nice. Let's see what my girl can do. This animation is so sick, bro. She just takes off revive straight away, doesn't even care. And uh, yeah, very, very, very good. Literally, the blue, uh, the, the blue Sario. Obviously, she doesn't have a grace, but you, you know, you know what I mean. Basically, the blue Sario. Uh, very, very happy with the way she turned out. My opponent's probably going to shield now. No, he's not. He's going to commit to more attacks with 11. He's going to level 3 wave me himself. Doesn't get the crit. He's not a good gamer. All right, we still have one more AoE, so this should pretty much wrap up the fight. Um, actually, 
if we do this, go for AoE, then 11's wave should hit harder, right? We should kill his 11 and then kill his Liz and then leave just Gotha. So, yeah, 166. No crit, bit unfortunate. But, you know, in Geared, I can't run the Ludo team. I'll just get destroyed. Uh, but this wave shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Yeah, it's actually, like, considering the rules and stuff, man, it's not too bad. Just because there was only one opponent left. Wow. My, my, <laughs> my dude even had Death Pierce and he didn't crit. That's why... Uh, you do not use Death Pierce. He is a absolute scam, in my honest opinion. Guess the ultimate though. This probably kills. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate time in there. He did merge cards. Very lucky, but that's okay. We have Lolly Merlin sub, <clears throat> so we'll be able to wrap this up shortly. Um, shame that my Gotha passive is turned off now, but the opponent will scoop anyway. Very good. Let's move on. All right. Next up, we have. <clears throat> Well, uh, let me just, uh, we, we, we just lose this basically, nothing I can do about this. Uh, in Geared right now, most people are just running green units, people are too scared to run red units because of the one, you know, besides Sario. And uh, if you run blue units, you are basically dead, so, you know, showcasing uh, 11 at this current moment in time is probably not the greatest idea, but it's like, you know, what can I really do, man? Can't show off you are gear and ungeared, so it's like, you know, the, I don't know what... I don't know why they bring back this rule, dude. Like, just give us something else. We do. It's not even decent damage. It's okay damage. Yeah, like, look at that, bro. Look at that. This rule is so fun. It promotes a lot of uh, diversity in team building. It doesn't, you know, force people to just run one color. You know, just a fantastic rule. 30% more damage, take 40% less. It's just a fantastic rule all around. I can't complain. Uh, obviously, you know, I am joking, uh, if you couldn't uh, if you couldn't tell my sarcasm. Now, Deanne does have full ult gauge, right? So we'll increase the damage we do to her. Wait, we should actually be able to hit her pretty good now. Do I want to risk not taunting? Ah, uh, whatever, man, it is what it is. But she has full ult gauge, so we should do more damage to her now. Yes, that is much more like it. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, okay. All right, now that Deanne's there, that is a big way off our shoulders. Did he just merge with Lolly? Now, the, now once again, uh, in a situation... Oh, wait, actually, I did get my 11 ultimate, which is pretty clutch. Uh, can't really kill anyone with this, though. I'm going to keep it real. And obviously, if uh, Lolly uses AoE, then I'll be... Um, uh, you know, now nah, we're dead. He, he got Lolly Melon Ultimate. I'm dead. GG's. GG's. And then uh, restricts my life still. Yep, I am just toast. Nothing I can do. So we will take the loss here. Here's where it is, man. Geared PvP just stinks and it stunk for. Uh, uh, when does this month end, dude? Because I just can't wait for this garbage to leave. Honestly, yeah. Uh, I'm in like. I think I'm like champion 4 or 3 in Geared PvP because I just haven't been playing it. Uh, these rules are just the worst. Wow, one shot Eskinol, 309k, fantastic. And then we hit the wave, which is going to do nothing. And uh, yeah, congrats to the opponent, GG's. Um, it's just a bad time right now. Assault Meliodas, Lolly Merlin, you know, just uh, not a good time for 11, but here's what it is. I'm not going to delay this anymore. Let's scoop and find the next opponent. I assume Lolly Merlin. Oh, no, it's actually an Eskinor. All right, we should have decent chances here. The opponent is 285. Not bad, not bad. Um, we don't get lucky. But I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay. I'm going to give my 11 time to build up. I think uh, that's what I'm going to do in this one. I'm very certain if we can get, like, two AoEs at, like, rank 2 or 3, we can just get rid of Eskinor in, like, one turn. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, maybe wait and bait him into getting the an ultimate. Maybe, if that's even possible. Because as we saw last game, if someone has full gauge, even if you're type disadvantage, you're gonna do a ton of damage to them. Because obviously the uh, the the weekly rule does basically overpower the monthly rule. Because you know, 50% versus 40% reduction. You know, you go plus about 10% there. Uh, did not apply the gauge removal, so, oh, actually, ah, uh, nah, I can't do that. If I rush the an ultimate, that's going to be a very bad idea. 
Rushing the Ultima is going to be a very bad idea for me because then she'll take a lot more damage. Give me a rank up, please. Or another AoE. Just give me something. Give me something to work with. Also, I should have uh, broke the Ant Shield first, but then again, as I said, I'm... Uh, what, can I, what, uh, what can I do, man? <laughs> oh, he, he got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he got uh, the Ant Ultimate. She's going to take more damage now. We need to get very lucky if we're going to do this, I think. We need... These two have to kill Dian, so we can target Escanor. And to be honest, even even if it doesn't kill Dian, the third attack will definitely do it. Wow! Wow! No crit, really? That is unlucky. Okay. Eleven has really high crit. She has higher base crit damage than Escanor. Now I know Escanor passive, yada yada, but it's like, come on now, man. You know, three, four turns into the fight, I feel kind of uh, robbed. <laughs> feel a little bit robbed. And, uh, yeah, of course, we merge into the Ultimate, so now Eskinor will be able to kill her. I'm very certain she's going to take a lot of damage. Uh, very unlucky. I uh, haven't seen rank up since the start of the game, but obviously my opponent has had no issue with rank ups. Because, uh, you know, PvP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two level 3 Eskinor cars just waiting. Uh, gets Eskinor Ultimate, and, um, yeah, what can I really do? Not much. I mean, it's... Yeah. Uh, I mean... This is the best I can do, to be honest. Best I can do, but we have the Ant Ultimate, so, so she's going to take extra damage. I mean, yeah, there's just nothing I could have done in this situation. The uh, Gid is just such garbage, man. I'm actually incredibly frustrated at this. Uh, this uh, why is this a thing, man? Why, why is this a thing? This is so stupid. This is so inherently stupid, man. This breaks the mechanic of, like, a type advantage, man. Uh, no, no, it just, it breaks the mechanic of advantage full stop. Kek, we survive. Well, whatever. Honestly, thought we'd have a good chance, but, you know, RNG said otherwise. My opponent used, like, what, three, four rank ups, and I only had one rank up the entire game. GG's. Next up, we have Lolly, Merlin, so mm, I mean, eh. Eh. Is that too bad? I don't think it is. There's no Gotha that we have to deal with. I don't think it's too bad, man. Rank up 11. Taunt with Deanne and then apply the gauge removal. I don't think it's too bad. Liz will be able to damage her just fine. We'll do extra damage to Sario. It's just Lolly Merlin. But I think if we get this fight to like a 2v... Uh, like a 1 or a 2v3, I think we'll be fine. And uh, once again, no uh, rank up. We do get some more 11 cards though, which I am grateful for. Do I even want... Mm. Eh, what do I want to do? Wave should do like full damage here because, um, you know, Liz's shield does um, turn off the bad effect of wave. So hopefully that breaks shield and then we can potentially uh, take off revive. It does, uh, breaks shield on everyone but Liz. How did it break shield on Lolly Merlin but not Liz? This game makes no sense. Uh, 200k level 2. Take off revive on Sariel. Very nice. And uh, So that's where my rank ups for the last two games have been, huh? They've just been in the queue. <laughs> Alright, that was very lucky indeed. Liz does get ultimate, but I think I'm just going to take the opportunity right now to just kill her. Dian still has one more turn of taunt, which is uh, imperative. All right, we're going to wave and then kill Liz. Uh, all we need is just like another card next turn to kill Sario and we should be fine. Actually, no, never mind. We get uh, we get ultimate 411 and uh, 287. Yep. Uh, that ult gauge she had made, made her take so much more damage. I, I think we can actually just probably kill everyone, to be completely honest. Or, do I use this? Eskinor's dead regardless. We can kill Sariel with 11's ultimate, and then that just means we just need to put this level 3 on uh, Lonely Merlin, and I think we get the win. 
and then obviously Sario has to ruin things. Unfortunate now, my. Uh, Alright, well, that, that sucks. That really does mess up plans, but what can you do? I mean, well, we'll get Lolly Mel into a 3v1. I think. I hope it gets to a 3v1. I don't think uh, Escanor should survive this. Even with Gotha passive turned off. Wow, he does survive it. Feels bad, man. Well, at least Sario is completely dead. But, uh, yes. I mean, it's not like the showcase has been bad. It's just the rules are terrible. And uh, what everyone's running is not a good match for uh, what I'm trying to run. So that's all it is, basically. Ungeared, you know, it's perfectly fine. We've all seen the 11 showcases and Ungeared, she's amazing, you know. Oh, he targets my 11. Nice. Nice. But we can cook his goose because he got ultimate. So this should, this will probably do a ton of damage. This will do a lot of damage. 300k plus for sure. Oh, never mind. We didn't crit. Didn't crit. When Lolly Manon has basically... I think it's just about... Like, it's there or about 100% crit chance, turn 1. My Gotha dies. Now it's a battle of the Lolly Merlins. Actually, tell her, like, I should kill her here. That's not 40% HP, she should be dead. Yeah. Alright, very good. That was uh, closer than uh, usual, but still managed to uh, get through. Let's go to the final game. Final matchup for this video. It's a... What on earth is this? What? I am confusion. Who runs this? Uh, I mean, to be fair, I ran this when I wanted to uh, make a showcase of Diana as a DPS, which, by the way, Diane is actually a pretty damn good DPS because she has um, seven single targets. So, you know, uh, this card right here, triple crit chance. So, Diane as a DPS, low key can work. It's just I didn't expect someone else to be using that, you know. Uh, it's pretty weird champ. I'm gonna. Uh, let me check. Alright, no, no Tamiya Association, so we can try and uh, kill her probably not though any crits get a crit on gotha nice no crit on Diane. yeah unfortunate when there's no rules i can run her with ludo and just crit people non-stop but you know with these rules you just you just can't run ludo you can't have two blue units man it's just suicide either you run into an assault meliodas and get clapped or you run into a lolly merlin and get clapped so that's all it is basically and uh, in this game right here, our RNG seems to be back to usual, aka trash. So we'll probably uh, just try to get more cards in. Deanton again, prevent him from alt rushing, and then nah. I mean, I should have targeted. I should have targeted Ludo. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know. I don't know why I did that, but it's fine. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's good. That is muy bien. We're a few turns into the fight as well, so Gotha passive should be... Ooh, wait, the, does everyone have alt gauge? Ah, uh, I think I applied gauge removal. Ah, uh, I'm so stupid, man. Wow, that could have been insane damage, bro. She would have had... She would have done 50% more damage if they had alt gauge with this AoE. That would have, like... <laughs> That would have been insane, but we'll kill this Diane so we do extra damage to Ludo because, uh, you know, we soften the debuff effect of Wave. Ludo should die though, definitely. We should also crit him. 196 type disadvantage, Lul. Should crit him. We do not. Okay. <laughs> uh, been calling crits wrong all showcase. Uh, but that's, I don't know, because I haven't tried 11 in this team yet. I haven't, I'm not really, you know too familiar with her chances to crit and stuff but in the future i'll probably uh, come to terms with that obviously zeldris we probably just probably just one shot him right 
Like, I'm not even kidding. I think we probably do just one shot him with this level two. Like, I don't see why we wouldn't. Let's check our stats. 116% crit chance, 226% crit damage. Wow. Very, very good. Those are those substats are top tier. She like there's like dude, come on now. She has to kill. Um I'll just target Gotha because Ludo is gonna be easier to deal with. But, like she has to kill uh Zelda here. There's no way he survives this. 307k rank two. Oof. Gotha probably doesn't die here though. Never mind, he dies as well. Pog champ. Pogu Champu, and uh, that will pretty much wrap it up for this showcase. Let's go back to the menu. Alright guys, that will wrap it up for the 11 showcase. Uh, it's just a bad time for her, not gonna lie. I'll, I'll definitely redo this showcase when these BS rules aren't here. Uh, you can tell just by our win rate, um, it's not been uh, too good in Champion 3, but like I said, most people are just running green units because uh, they are aware that a lot of people are scared about running red units because of Escanor. And uh, so on and so forth but I might actually uh, run some red units in geared for a showcase because I've just realized everyone's just running green very few people are actually running blue uh, there's barely any Eskinors. Uh we faced a few but it was mostly like green units and stuff so yeah that'll be it hope you guys enjoy the showcase drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and I'll catch you later on